think people are well aware that we are finished watching football here tonight. That stunning announcement came after a highly anticipated matchup between two teams vying for the top playoff seed in the AFC came to an abrupt halt Monday night. Oh, Nine minutes into the first quarter, Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin tackled Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins. Hamlin got up after the hit, but then suddenly collapsed. And that is DeMar Hamlin. Medical personnel quickly descended to administer CPR to Hamlin. The Bills said Hamlin went into cardiac arrest and his heartbeat was restored on the field. Players on both sides were visibly upset, some crying and others taking a knee to pray. Hamlin was then loaded into an ambulance on the field. His team knelt together in a circle as he was driven away. Hamlin is now at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center in critical condition. It was so jarring. Sam Farmer has been covering the NFL for 25 years. It wasn't until you looked into the face of the players and saw their reaction did you realize that this was something extraordinary. More than an hour after the injury, the NFL officially postponed the game. As fans filed out of the stadium, a group traveled to the hospital, lighting candles and praying together. Hamlin's injury follows other frightening scenes on the field this season that has put the NFL under scrutiny over player safety. Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungabailoa sustained three blows to the head this season, resulting in at least two concussions. He returned to play in two of those games. While the NFL ruled concussion protocols were followed, the league did make amendments to its policies in October after his first two hits. This highly unusual and probably unprecedented situation of suspending a game will be scrutinized in terms of could that have been done quicker? Should that have been done quicker? Should an hour have elapsed before that decision was announced? For more on all of this, let's 